Hey, what's up guys? So, today we are printing and having fun with TPU. Um, the goal here is to find out what's the maximum speed we can get out of this extruder combined with that Nova hot end. Um, so we're, we're playing with and we have today this Sane, Sane Smart TPU they recommend temperature between 200 and 220 we're obviously not gonna use that this is fine for low speed like 30 millimeters per second to 60 maybe if you want to go faster crank up that temperature or you're gonna have trouble so we're almost done finishing the first layer it is currently printing at um, 75% of the requested speed and the requested speed is uh, 100 millimeters per second So it's been sliced at a hundred and we're gonna uh, we're gonna slowly Bump that speed up and see where it starts to fail. So right now 75 We're gonna let it finish First layer done. Let's crank it up to that requested speed of 100%, which is 100 millimeters per second. Here you go. Um, stepper sound changed. And we're gonna slowly also increase uh, temperature so it can follow. So, so far so good, 100 millimeters per second. By the way, this is awesome. That little guy right there, the Hextruder, it's been designed by the guy that's made the uh, Hevort and his name is uh, Olivier or Oliver in English it's a good buddy of mine we're both French Canadian so please excuse any English errors or anything I don't uh, say it right we are both uh, French Canadian so go I'll put the link in the description below go check it out Hevort and the Hextruder this one I've just modified a bit to fit my personal design. Um, it has some modification, but the core of it is the same. It's built from the um, the popular Bond Tech. It's reusing the internal gears, the grub screws, the bearings. So it's really easy to source and to find parts for it. Um, but it's a lot lighter, and it's using that little round NEMA. 14 motor it's an LDO and it's set up at 0.4 amp right now that motor can take a lot of beating it's small but it packs a punch um, and it can get quite hot right now it's probably at 40 Celsius but the spec says it can go all the way up to two uh, sorry to 180 Celsius which is quite up I'm not sure I want to reach out uh, all the way up to uh, 180 that's way too hot for my my confidence so anyway and it's also running that awesome 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 hot end which is the Nova hot end uh, I, I know you guys have seen my other videos where I crank the speed up to 300 milliseconds and 15k acceleration it prints flawlessly at that speed it's really incredible um, tolerances are super good really good ex uh, hot end so I'll put another link also in the description if you want to get that one so enough said let's bump it up 125 requested and you heard that sound it has changed and it is printing so far so good And we are at 250 Celsius, so we're just gonna um, crank it up a bit by 10 degree, requesting to 60. It's gonna slowly crank up to that temperature. Um, I'm also using a 60 watt cartridge. Uh, this is my biggest mistake when I ordered that Nova. I should have gone with the 100 watts. At that time, I thought it was overkill to have a hundred watt of heating, but as I discovered this hot end, I mean, it, it can print quite fast, and a hundred watt is not overkill. Trust me, if you get that Nova, go get 
the 100 watt 24 volt if possible because it's going to draw less current and you can go with the normal size wires if you go with a 12 watt well that's still going to work but just be careful on your on your wires to get the the right size for the current so still doing good um, Uh, I've requested one. F oh, sorry. Just to make it clean, let's go 150. Request a speed 150. Okay. Let's take a look at it. Looks good so far. Quality looks better than with lower speed, which is a bit surprising um, yeah it's printing good no under extrusion so far um, temperature let's go with five increments now let's go 275 and uh, 175 175 the sound has changed, which means it's running faster. Surprisingly, very good. Have we reached temperature yet? Yep, 275. Um, no. Temperature, increment. 280 and bump it up to 200 so we have 200 now another step up this is incredible 200 milliseconds with TPU and quality wise well you're gonna notice some imperfections but really is very nice on the surface there are two big power LED right here and the way they aim light is that you're gonna see every imperfection is gonna create a shadow and plus this Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is boosting details way over my liking so you, you see more imperfections but it is what it is but just me it's it's super good yeah this is just light reflex. It's not imperfection. So okay. Um so we are at 200 millimeters per second. I'll just go to 285 and then I'm gonna request 225. Two twenty-five. Um this interface, if you like it, this is main cell. Really nice interface. And still printing good. 225. Okay. Bump it up again. 250 requested. 250. And uh, extrusion wise. Still very good. Very, very good. Temperature, let's go 290. And then 275. There we go. Take a look. Still doing good. Oh, you gotta be fast. This is just a hair like this, like anything that sticks to the nozzle. Okay, um, let's go to 300. Woo! I like that sound. 
these two, or those two, are E3D um, 0 0.8, uh, sorry, 0 0.9 degree high torque motors running at 1.4 amp. They perform really good. An input shaper has been tuned with that, I don't know if you can see that, but there's an accelerometer on top of the carriage. So input shaper has been tuned with uh, that little electronics. Input shaper is really what has changed the performance of my printer. It is really awesome. If you don't know what it is, go look out Clipper input shaper. It's going to counter the vibration, basically, of the motors, frame, and everything. The vibration when it goes really fast. So it helps on quality. I wouldn't be able to achieve such quality at high speed without input shaper. Okay, so we are at 300, and what I'll do, I'm gonna crank up to 295. Give it a bit of time to reach, and then 325. Oh, you heard that one. Let's see, are we under extruding? Nope. That's just because that's a shiny surface and... Okay. Three hundred C. This is where you wish you'd have a hundred watts, but it's fine. Three fifty. Let's take a look. This is what I mean about stupid camera focus. There we go. I hate this phone just because of that issue. But anyway, 350, still doing good. Um, three seventy-five. Are we still? extruding correctly looks good Okay, um, 400. Oh, <laughs> that sound. Let's try to take another five degree. This is where it might start failing with that 60 watt. We'll see. Is it able to reach? Stupid focus. Uh, yeah, good. What does it look like at 400 milliseconds? 400 millimeters per second, sorry. It starts to degrade quality a bit. Um, 
around 400. Let's give it a bit more heat. Okay, with more heat, it's perfect. So let's give it another five because it was on a limit. I don't want to go too fast on the incremental for temperature because I've had uh, the MCU shut down because it was not able to reach that temperature. But right now it's doing good. So if I go with five incrementals, it's, it's perfect. I'll do another five. 320 and then um, try to go higher. Oh, 425. Um, the sound has not changed, so I think I'm wrong. This morning I did a test and I cranked it up all the way to 600 but I didn't notice any sound change so I think I'm hitting the the maximum of my firmware right now let's take a look here um, setting velocity oh I should have checked that before dang it so we're showing up 425 but we're doing 400 Doing good at 400. So the printer has cooled down and I will probably now be able to remove this. Uh, yeah, it's, it sticks really good to that PEI powder coated sheet. And this is TPU as you can see. And considering that this is kind of like having 100% infill. So this is the quality you get with 400 millisecond. If my focus can work, yeah, there we go. Not perfect, perfect. But as I mentioned, when it's in front of those super bright head, uh, lights, you you kind of see imperfections, though there's not, they're not s a lot seeable with your, with your uh, naked eyes or direct eyes, they're, anyway, you know what I mean. So that's it folks, that was it, and by the way, I have received, I've received this nice square tube, carbon fiber, I'm planning on maybe I don't know because I think this looks really cool um, but I might replace it with this one because it's a lot more it's a lot stiffer than the eight millimeter rods this one you can't bend uh, any force you put on it it's gonna break instead of bending it's really stiff but I, I don't think you can break it so this will go on so that was it folks um, 400 milliseconds with TPU is possible. Thank you for watching.